All hail the beat, it's your boy Big B B, and we back for another edition of Big B Business. For those of you who are new to the channel, I'm B, and on this channel, we help you improve your confidence by way of compliments using the wonderful world of fragrance. If this is your second video or more, we ask that you hit the subscribe button so you can come back to rock with your boy. Today, we're here for a very special fragrance review a highly anticipated fragrance review and a fragrance review i'm a little bit late to the party on i know i know but listen we are here i get it man i've mentioned this before on a number of occasions but in case you have not seen any of those videos um i just live in a weird area okay so a month and a half ago or so i got to experience this fragrance by way of a decant given to me by a local store. I got to smell that fragrance, really enjoy it, and get to experience it, but I wasn't able to talk about it. You know me, I don't really like to do fragrance reviews on this channel unless I have a full bottle. The bottle is now here, and we are locked and loaded and ready to go. In case you have not read the title, you don't know what you clicked on, today we are talking about the latest release from Dior, and this one is Dior Sauvage Elixir. All right, it comes in this pull-out bottle box. I mean, and ah, woo fuck the box. All right, man. So listen, that was the box, the presentation. But here you have it. Here, um, the bottle is reminiscent to the original Dior Sauvage and Dior Sauvage or that parfum and Dior Sauvage parfum, but it is different. This one feels higher quality, although it is smaller. Unlike the original Dior Sauvage or its flankers, it doesn't come in multiple sizes. You got 155 bucks, will get you uh, two ounces, which is 60 ml, all right, roughly. So that's what you have here. Still magnetic cap, and this is your, look at that distribution. Obviously that is pressurized, and you get a big blast of that as well. So where do we start when it comes down to Dior Sauvage Elixir? Well, it's simple. As I mentioned, I was able to experience this about a month and a half ago, but it was very, you know, through testers, decants, etc., and I wasn't sure how I felt about it. All right, and originally smelling this fragrance, I was like, hmm, it's different. And I like that it was different from what I expected from Dior because you know a lot of their flankers are alike, but this one was totally different. As I was walking out to the car, smelling myself, I was like, yeah, okay, yeah, I'm starting to like it a bit more. I got in the car and my missus said, whatever you have on smells amazing. I'm like, well, I just sprayed this. Um, and she's like, listen, that is fire my son in the back seat he like that that is nice i'm like man okay okay compliments through the wonderful world of fragrance i like it i like it so we're driving and i begin to start to experience what they are experiencing now this fragrance is this woody aromatic fragrance that again takes a totally different route than some of the others that you would expect now to me and my nose versus some of the other fragrances that they offer whether it's the edt the edp and more somewhat the parfum they were more heavy on that embroxin feel you had a lot of the embroxin there especially in the original they gave it this wild untamed savage like feel but this one here is more refined and a bit better if you ask me now according to the perfumer notes here your your main notes here are going to be grapefruit lavender and amber but i don't think it stops there to me when i smell this fragrance i get something that is relatively sweet but not in this obnoxious type of way to me this one is sweeter than the dior sauvage edp and the parfum um, for sure but it's not like this juvenile sweetness within this fragrance no not that at all to me this is a more refined fragrance um listen i know some people out there think differently about this but this fragrance here does not smell like it's something that a traditional designer fragrance would be if you were walking around macy's or something like that and you were looking for a scent this one to me smells like it's more like a boutique scent um and that is a good thing now, with that being said, I think that this fragrance is definitely going to be a top selling scent. I didn't think they obviously have that down packed here because it's so different. And 
uh, very different than some of the other designer releases that we've been getting so far. Listen, this thing here is definitely going to take off. You saw how long it took me to get a bottle because every time I went back to my local stores, they were sold out. Now, I'm sure because of where I am, they're not getting a ton of bottles. But the fact that they are sold out every time I go is uh, a good thing. And let me tell you about this one as well. When I went to pick this one up, they had just got it in. It was like, hey, we only got one bottle left. And I got into this like, you're supposed to call me. I digress, okay? <laughs> um, This fragrance here is... Again, um, it kind of takes some of that original Dior Sauvage uh, DNA. It amplifies it a bit, but not in a way where it's just like this louder version of the scent. It really takes some of the, the key points of the fragrance, make them stand up, and yeah, this is a an elegant scent. To me, I would feel super comfortable dressing this fragrance up in a suit, and I would also feel super comfortable rocking this fragrance casually. That stated, I often talked about in the past how I felt the Parfum version was the best in between the Dior Sauvage lineup, right? I felt that that fragrance um, was grown enough, mature enough to be worn to the office, right? I also felt that that fragrance was young enough to be worn on a casual environment, or if you were in your 20s, high school ages, you would be okay with that. Although if you were in high school, you probably wouldn't go with uh, EDT or the Art of Parfum. But this one here is a fragrance that I feel will work well across all age ranges. So when I say all age ranges, I'm pretty much meaning like late middle school, early high school, all the way up to 60 plus, all right? This fragrance really covers all of those bounds. Again, that sweetness within this fragrance, you also have that aromatic feel that almost lends to like a barbershop fragrance, but although it's not that at all, but it has this classic, classy feel to it that lends to sophistication and a bit of nostalgic feel to it as well that I think a lot of older people are going to enjoy. However, the younger people out there can begin to grow with this fragrance as they begin to transition into uh, full manhood, workinghood, etc., become working class citizens, whatever you're gonna do, man, this fragrance is one of those fragrances that I think is just going to work. Now, here's the thing, as new fragrances come out, you find yourself in a position to really make your mark and begin to create uh, memories with them, right? And this is one of those scents that I think is going to work for you in a lot of situations. In terms of seasons, um, for me, I think this can work in almost any season. This fragrance is dense enough, it's strong enough, it projects enough to really work in that fall and winter, so the colder weather, this is going to work as well. But listen, I, I don't have a huge house. My house is a little, around 4,000 square feet. A little over, a little under, give or take, all right? Around 4,000 square feet. I'm downstairs um, in my living room. If you ever watch my other channel, Lifestyles of the Broken Unknown, you know what I'm talking about. I'm sitting there. My son is upstairs, and he says, man, as he's coming down the stairs, I have this amazing scent trail. It smells great, right? I'm sitting on the couch. Boom. It traveled up the stairs. I said, hey, I am here. And that was based on two sprays to the wrist, all right? This fragrance does have some stay in power as well in terms of that uh, projection is there, right? Um, but longevity is there for sure. I'm getting about 10 to 12 hours plus on this fragrance because it really does work. The projection is strong on this fragrance for the, about the first two and a half to three hours and it begins to come in a little bit closer. So if you are in a situation where you're used to rocking fragrances on lots of sprays, this thing is going to get loud. So you may want to tone your sprays back just a bit to uh, accommodate a fragrance of this nature. All in, I think it's a great $155 well spent on this fragrance. I think it deserves every bit of it. And I, I think that this one tops all other Dior fragrances so far in terms of the Sauvage lineup. That is my take on this fragrance, right? If you're looking for a modern aromatic fragrance that lends to an old school time that has sophistication, class, and elegance that you can grow with and it's also sexy, and seductive in a way it's not like super seductive so don't get that out there all right but it's also it's it's a it's a nice fragrance that's going to garner you compliments for sure and what you do with those compliments is up to you that is my take on the latest release from dior sauvage elixir let me know what you think about this fragrance down below because to me this one is a banger as always i'm your boy 
Big B, be the to like, comment, and subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend that we are back again. And you already know what I need you to do. Just hit the goddamn bell.